Anthony, I understand that your early career was as a viticulturalist for South Cork, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and what took you down that road? Well, I, I started uh, viticulture, studied that in my tertiary year. And you were at Coldstream? Yes, so I started, I started at Coldstream Hills as a junior viticulturist there and then worked my way up to the Grape Resources um, manager. Mm -hmm. So I was buying grapes throughout Victoria for the, for the winery. Okay. And, but you're more known, really, as the founder and the creator of a fabulous restaurant and bar called The Deanery in Melbourne. It's true. I mean, my wine was in there for several years before yeah. we ever talked about you know, the wine shield and, mm -hmm. and what, yeah. I, what I was doing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And how many wines by the glass were you offering? So we would have about six or seven whites, six or seven reds. Okay. And then, you know, it's okay. You came across Wine Preserver or Wine Shield now about two and a half years ago. And what attracted you to the product and what made you realise the benefit of it? Well, because it's a single use device as well, I think that appealed to me as well. So I know that, you know, with the gas, trying to get it right can be difficult and you can't see it, you can't smell it. You're not, you're not yeah. really sure if it's yeah. working or something. Or if someone's done it. it. Yeah. yeah, or if it's been done yeah. is the other issue. Yeah. Um, with this, it's just a simple, fact, simple, su simple solution. It's very simple, isn't it? Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and that's what appeals to me. It's, it's simple. It works. Mm. Um, do, and what impact do you think that the products had with on the wastage in the restaurant? Well, as as your staff become more aware of it and become comfortable with it and becomes part of your practice, then uh, you know you can reduce. Can reduce all those places down to you know, virtually virtually nil. Mm. Yeah. Um, and it is it is about the staff actually by you directing them and mm. them by taking it seriously. And from yeah. a point of view of a, a customer, mm. them knowing that you are actually protecting the wine, so it's being drunk like yeah. the winemaker intended, isn't it? We just found that um, uh, you know at the end of the day, every day. Um, as part of your normal procedure, and that might be you know, closing down after lunch or closing down at, at the end of the day, at the evening. If anything that's open just gets a wine shield. Customers, were they curious about what was in the oh, bottle? Oh yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, they, are. Mm. And they see it there and say, oh, what's that? that. And, so has, and did, did staff found, find it easy to, get, uh, to educate the customer on the value of actually knowing that the wine was yeah. being looked after as the winemaker had intended? Mm. Mm. I think so. It's, it's it's very simple explanation. You know. mm. it sits as a blanket over the wine and protects it from going off, and that gives us all greater confidence that the wine's in the best possible condition it can be. Exactly. Yeah. And so the customer thinks, well, you know, I'm I'm going to get a bottle of wine that the aroma, particularly the aroma, mm. is still as fresh as you know when the bottle was opened and yep. the restaurant. Then I'm going to get the same flavour and the mm. same aroma. Yeah. But that's the main thing. I think the biggest upside is the what we found is with the aromatic wines. So you know, Pinot Noir, wow. Burgundy, yeah. uh, aromatic white wines, things like that that are really delicate. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, that's the first thing that goes. Yeah. Exactly. When the wine's yeah. deteriorating. Yeah. yeah. And then you can preserve that. Yeah. So look, Anthony, thanks Thank a lot. I really appreciate it. Huh? Nice to see you again. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you.